Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create Instagram video ads. So let's get started and the first thing that you want to do is log into your Facebook business manager account and then click on create and this is where you will choose your marketing objective. Now keep in mind that you can use Instagram video ads for most of these marketing objectives so you know let's say you want to generate traffic to your website then you can use a video format and show your ad uh, on Instagram uh, for traffic as your marketing objective and you can even use you know video views marketing objective to maximize you know views on your video content so it really depends on your marketing objective uh, but the key thing to keep in mind is uh, you can utilize the video ad format on on most of these you know uh, marketing objective so uh, to so let's take an example or let's take a practical example of traffic as your marketing objective so I'm gonna select traffic and then give it a name I'll say Instagram traffic and then hit continue all right now we are configuring our ad set so I will give an a name to our ad set. I will say USA Digital Marketers. All right, and I want to generate traffic to my website, so that's fine. All right. Next is I want to create my audience. So you can either use a custom audience, which basically means you know you can um, target your website visitors you can um, target a lookalike audience or a custom audience out of you know your CRM database so if you want to retarget someone with a video ad then you can use your custom audiences um, but let's say you are starting from scratch and you want to target based on interest then what you want to do is the first thing that you want to do is enter your location so I'm gonna say United States um, and then I think I will keep the age as 18 to 60 gender is all um, language is English all okay and this is where you know you will enter your detailed targeting uh, based on interest and behavior so I want to target all the people in the United States who are interested in you know digital marketing and social media so I'm gonna start typing social media um, okay so yeah social media marketing and then I'm gonna just hit suggestions so that uh, Facebook will provide people who are interested in similar you know categories so online advertising advertising um, internet marketing social media um, I think that's that's a decent number of interest so this is just to show you you know how you can uh, choose um, different you know interest and behavior um, you can even exclude people so you know you can you can say um, I want to target all the people uh, but then I want to include uh, I want to exclude um, people who are uh, interested in let's say you know small business maybe okay uh, well I want to I want to exclude people I don't know if there's a large business <laughs> uh, so there, there isn't a large business owner but the idea here is um, you can exclude certain categories so let's say you are targeting people um, who are like medium scale or large scale business owners uh, then you can exclude small business owners uh, and it also goes the other way around so let's say you want to target people um, who are um, you know small business owners and who who are in this category in that case you will exclude you know medium and large scale business owners so that's how you know you can exclude audience you can even narrow the audience so what I mean is you can say I want to target all the people who matches any of these categories but they need to be small business owners all right awesome 
So Facebook will, you know, look at this. The reach has gone like super low now. Um, so you can actually, you know, um, use the narrow down condition. Um, but keep in mind, if you narrow further, you know, your audience size is going to be very specific. So um, I'm just going to, you know, exclude this and keep my audience, you know, um, defined. Um, the next thing that I want to do is um, either you can save the audience for future use, but, you know, we can leave it as it is. Um, okay, next is um, you need to click on edit placement. And I'll, and since we want to run this ad only on Instagram feed, uh, you can exclude everything. So I'm going to exclude everything except um, Instagram feed. All right, awesome. So look at this. Uh, Facebook will give you estimated daily results. So I'm going to get around like 33 to 204 clicks uh, based on my $20 a day budget. So, um, so once you are, you know, done editing your placement over here, uh, scroll down and this is where you will set your budget. So you have, you have two options, either daily or lifetime. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So for a $20 daily budget, I can expect, um, you know, around 200 clicks, um, uh, based out of Instagram, um, video ads on my Instagram feed. So I think that looks good. The next is you hit continue and this is where, you know, you will s create your ad. So, um, you can give your ad as IG, uh, video and then choose your Instagram account and look at this. This is where you will select your format. So I'm going to select single video and um, you can actually click on this um, view aspect ratio specification uh, to understand like what are the different you know ratios. Um, but then you can also click on this view full list of supported pop formats. Uh, because look at this, Instagram allows up to 120 seconds, which is awesome. I think uh, a couple of uh, months back or a year, I think a year back, this was only 60 seconds. So I think they have uh, increased the limit to 120 seconds, which is great. So what we have done over here is we have selected a single video and then under video, you're going to upload your own uh, Instagram video. So I'm going to select my video uh, it's in dot mp4 format um, instagram allows you to run video ads in dot move or dot gif but you know in general most of them use dot uh, mp4 format so my video is now getting uploaded um, it's encoding um, once you know in the meantime you can go ahead and set your website uh, text and url so i'm just gonna you know enter my website url over here and then i'm going to say um request for a free consult consultation isn't that cute <laughs> anyways request for a free consultation on um oh well that's fine okay uh, request for a free consultation okay and then um i'm gonna say contact us okay and um i think it looks okay you can actually add more text, text over here, here if you want to uh, uh you, you can, can click, click preview url and you know facebook, facebook will show you if that link is working or not so, so that's a handy way to you know test your url uh, you can even click on build a URL parameter if you want to use conversion tracking or you know tracking URLs um, I think that looks good and then all you have to do is hit confirm All right, that's pretty much it guys for um, Instagram video ads so as you can see you know it's super effective and super easy to create uh, an Instagram video ad um, and basically you can promote your business, your traffic, bring traffic to your website or blog, uh, or you can, you can even use it for any other marketing objective. Um, and, uh, once you are done with your, you know, campaign creation, uh, you can actually, um, click on your campaign. Um, and then under ad set, you can actually duplicate this, um, 
so that you can you know keep your ad the same but you can try out different audiences so what I mean is you can click on your ad set and then hit duplicate and um, alright look at this um, you can now um, use uh, okay create a test to compare uh, a new ad set to your original as well um, I want to duplicate this ad set into an existing campaign so I'm, I'm selecting my existing campaign over here and then I'm gonna select duplicate okay so what what we are doing here is we're gonna try out different audiences so in the first um, you know ad set we targeted people based on interest uh, the only change I'm gonna do is in this case I'm gonna um, target people uh, based out of my website visitors so basically um, I'm gonna retarget everyone uh, who is visiting my website so I'm gonna go back to custom audience and then choose all website visitors that's it and then hit uh, publish uh, okay let's hit publish all right yeah and then and then I'm gonna save so that's pretty much it you know uh, what you're doing right now is you know trying out different audiences you can create as many you know ad sets you want um, and try out different audiences um, and you know different um, you know you can even choose different um, ad creative formats but um, the key thing here is to utilize your Instagram feed video ads so that's it guys for the video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post digi weekly digital marketing videos and I'll see you next time.